Hey, my name is Gavin and this is my God story. Kennedy was my 12-year-old cousin that passed away in 2018. So from when she was born, she had this um, special um, disorder that like affected her brain. I'm not entirely sure how, but it she couldn't like grow and walk and run and speak and like express themselves, she couldn't do that due to her disorder. I loved Kennedy very much. Um, she lived in St. Louis. We loved um, hanging out together. They lived on the lake. She also had this swing, this special swing for her, and I loved to push her on the swing, and she loved to be in the swing. So I just loved being around Kennedy. When she died, our entire family was very heartbroken, and it was very hard knowing that she had passed away and that we would never see her again. Now, I pretty much devote almost everything to Kennedy. Like if I'm feeling down or if I don't feel like good or bad about myself, I just think about Kennedy and about God and how I pray to her, for her and how I pray for her family. When I had my God story, we were um, singing about God on the mission trip, and I closed my eyes, and then I had the vision. I saw um, this big orange and yellow sun with a silhouette of an angel in the very middle with bright blue skies, a lot of clouds, and I was just laying down by myself on a beach. There was no sound besides the oceans or the waves crashing, and I was just looking into the sun with this angel silhouette. And then I heard laughter to the left of me, and when I turned, Kennedy was running, and what she couldn't do due to her disability, and she was running, and then she was laughing, and then it stopped. I think that God showed me that he was listening to my prayers, because since she passed away, I've been praying to, for him to say hi and asking how she was doing, and I think that shows that God is listening to your prayers, even when it doesn't sound or feel like it, because I... I kept asking if she was okay in heaven, and I think that that showed me that she was, and that he was always listening to me. And then I went back there, and then I could like hear everybody singing, and then I started crying. And then I went and told Caesar. And I asked him if we could go in private so we could talk, and then we walked away, and then I told him, and then um, he encouraged me to tell my friends, just my like group friends. So the next night I told them about it and then they were all like happy and like they, they couldn't believe it. And then um, that morning when we left, we, um, I shared it to the whole group. So I think that telling people, telling one person, then a little group, and then telling a lot of people really helps. So if my friends had a God story, I believe that um, they should tell somebody, like I did with Caesar. Like even if it's just a dream or if you think it has anything close to God, I think that you should find the nearest person that you think that you're comfortable telling and tell them. And then once you're comfortable telling more people, I would definitely spread um, and share with other people because I think that it can have a big impact on other people's lives. I believe that no matter what they're feeling, they can always go to God in everything that they have because He knows what you're going through, because He created you, and He knows everything that's already that's going to happen in your life. So that if you ever need someone to talk to, you can always talk to God. And that even if it, even if you pray and it doesn't work out right then, um, you can always know that God is listening. I'm Gavin and that was some of my God story.